This is the story of a woman. A woman with a dream. To educate children in the neediest parts of the world and give them a chance for a better life. And guess what? Her dream came true. Now, in the poverty-stricken areas of rural Guatemala and Honduras, schools and playgrounds have been built, teachers have been trained, libraries are filled with books, and parents and local governments are engaged. This is School of the World where children who had little chance of escaping poverty are learning and growing with a new sense of optimism and hope for the future. In 2010, Kate Kern approached government officials in Guatemala about developing a public partnership. The plan was simple. The government would pay half and School of the World would pay half to build three schools. Local parents would provide the unskilled labor and donate money for books. And the plan worked. One of the key factors was parent participation. The parents made a commitment to support their children's education. They attended monthly training sessions where they learned how to become the first educators for their children, how to best support their children in and out of the classroom, what their rights were, and how to hold teachers accountable. They took pride in their new role, and that pride seeped out into the community as a whole. School of the World was up and running. But Kate knew there was more School of the World needed to do. In 2013, School of the World expanded its vision to include high school student volunteers. We come from all over the U.S. to work for a week in Guatemala. We work alongside locals to build schools, paint classrooms, stock the libraries, and help teach the kids. But most importantly, this experience is mutually beneficial for the kids and the communities as well as us, world changers. These kids and their parents motivate us to not take our education for granted and to do something meaningful with it. We see the world in a new light. We have experienced the way of life so completely different from ours. It makes us feel grateful for all we've been given and inspired to help these children because they are so excited and motivated to learn. As School of the World begins its 10th year, there is a lot to be proud of. In nine years, 75 schools have been built. Over 300 teachers have been trained. So have more than 5,000 parents of 30,000 children. And entire communities have transformed. But those numbers only tell part of the story. School of the World regularly measures students' performance. Early on, our schools began outperforming control schools in both reading and math. We've seen a 15% increase in students passing the first grade, a significant indicator of future success, a 33% increase in students completing primary school, and a 50% decrease in dropout rates. The story of School of the World is different than most stories because our story has no ending. We have seen that education has the power to alleviate poverty, increase gender equality, and promote economic stability and we have seen how much we can accomplish. That is why School of the World has great expectations for the future. We want to take our program to 100 schools by our 10th anniversary. We want to expand our programming past primary school through middle school, 10 years of quality education. We want to add at least one more country in the region where we can have an impact. And with the support of people like you, we will continue making a world of difference.